Yo, 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 what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be starting a new quick tip series where I go over something um, that I can go in depth about uh, with a short video. I'm gonna try to drop a video every week. Uh, for example, in this video, I'm gonna be showing how to properly EQ your samples um, and take out harsh fre frequencies to make your sounds a lot more clean and to make your mix a lot better overall. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment. Uh, down below on this video so that I have some ideas for what you guys might want to learn about in future videos. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be looking at this sample uh, that I just recently put out in a sample pack called Spirit Volume 2. Uh, it's got a lot of R&B samples. Uh, it's got 20 with 20 bonus midis. So I'll leave a link down in the description for that. But yeah, like I said, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the following weeks. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and let's get right into it. So for this sample, I'm going to go ahead and just play the finished product so you can hear it. And then I'm going to go in and show exactly what I did with the EQ uh, to make the sound sound a lot cleaner. All right, so that's the sample. Uh, like I said, it's an R&B sample um, from my most recent pack. I'll leave a link down in the description for that. Um, but for the first sound, the piano, the main sound of the sample, uh, I'll go ahead and show what I did with the EQ. So obviously, as you can see, I have some effects, but before I put the effects on, the first thing that I did was um, I put an EQ before the effects. And uh, what you could do for pretty much every sound in a sample um, only if it's necessary, you don't have to, but um, if the sound needs some sort of cleaning up, then you can put a uh, an EQ before the effects and after the effects. And the reason why I do that um, is because when you EQ before the effects, you kind of clean up the original sound. So you're EQing the original piano sound and then it's going into the effects. So it just like applies the effects to only the clean frequencies and it doesn't apply the effects to the really harsh frequencies that you don't want in the sample uh, and then not only that but you can also put an EQ after the effects um, because certain effects like uh, reverb or even delay um, core you know really anything that you put on to your sounds it can add uh, frequencies that you also don't want so even though you cleaned it up before you added effects the effects themselves might have either increased the harshness and certain frequencies or added frequencies that you might not want. So um, yeah, I always do an EQ before and after the effects. So anyway, for this sound, um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and play it without any of the EQs. Um, and then I'll go in and show uh, the specifics with each EQ. So this is without the EQ. It's pretty, mu I mean, it's not horrible, but it's pretty muddy and you can tell that there's some frequencies that need to be um, cut out and I'll play it with the EQ. Yeah, as you can hear, a lot cleaner, um, a lot smoother. So for the first EQ, the first thing that I did is I went in and I did something called a frequency sweep. How you do that is you open up an EQ um, and if you have the new version of FL Studio, you're gonna have to go down here and enable the heat map um, so that it shows the frequencies. So you're gonna turn this knob down uh, for one band and then this all the way down to uh, four squares. And then so you have a band that is really accurate you can either boost the frequency or you can uh, take away from the frequency. So there's something called a frequency sweep that you can do where when you play the sound, obviously it shows where all the frequencies are hitting. Um, but once you have a really accurate band like this, you can kind of sweep through the sounds and you can actually hear where the harsh frequencies are. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 
um, just as an example. So prepare your ears for really obnoxious sounds. Yeah, like right there, that's really, really harsh. Something that you would want to take out right there. So I would just subtract. And um, another thing when you're doing this, you want to make sure not to subtract too much. Like don't go all the way down and try to take it all the way out because you do that too much and then your sample is going to lose a lot of its body. So yeah, like I said, only do this if it's necessary. You know, if there are actual frequencies that you can hear that are, that are really harsh and you want to take out specifically, then go ahead and do this. You might not even need to do the frequency sweep and go back and forth. You can kind of just, like when I play it, you can kind of just see where the frequencies are really harsh, like right here, right here, right here, right there. You can kind of just see it. So those are the spots that you would want to take out um, with the EQ. That's what I did first is I took out a lot of the harsh frequencies. And then, and then another thing that I did is I cut out all of the lows. So what I do, is if I want it, this controls how harsh you want to cut the frequencies. So um, if you want it to be really harsh, then go all the way down. You can, you can, it'll hard cut all the sounds. There will basically be no, right where you cut, there's going to be pretty much nothing beyond that point. So let's say you wanted to cut below uh, 150 hertz. But what I usually do, because you don't, I don't usually want it to be such a harsh cut. Um, I'll put it like this and it's a little like softer of a cut but it still gets rid of the frequencies that you don't want um, and then another thing that you can do um, let's say you have a vocal that has a lot of highs and you want that to kind of stand out a little bit more so you want to eq some of the highs from the piano for example just pull this down and you can kind of like create a dip where it dips off or if you wanted to do it with another band you did not want the highs you want to take out let's say the high mids same thing here and then you can control how harsh it is um, just like that yeah that's pretty much i mean pretty much how to just use an eq but uh, more specifically what i did for this sample to remove the harsh frequencies is i put that on first and then i created another one underneath because i ran <laughs> i ran out of bands uh, so there were a few other frequencies that I wanted to drop a little bit more and then once I did that um, I put on my effects and then I added another EQ where again I EQ'd out a lot of the lows and then I created this dip right where the bass frequencies are because I knew that I wanted to add my own bass um, and then after the effects I um, took a look at it again and realized that there were even more harsh frequencies that I wanted to get rid of um, after the effects and they could have been there before I put on the effects uh, they weren't frequencies that came from the effects themselves um, but for example adding this sketch cassette I think it adds um, some saturation and compression and it could have easily made a lot of the frequencies more harsh that's why I always do an EQ after the effects as well um, so I took out even more of the harsh fre frequencies and then I um, did what I showed earlier where I kind of took out some of the highs so that's what I did for the piano and like I said, I think it made it sound a lot cleaner. I'll play it one more time um, without the EQ. Just a lot cleaner. Um, so I did it with another sound in the sample as well. I'll go ahead and play it without <clears throat> any of the EQ. So it's not horrible, but um, you can definitely hear the harsh frequencies. It kind of sounds like you're being stabbed in the ear. <laughs> but I wanted to take those out. And um, again, I have an EQ before the effects and after the effects. But yeah, you want to just be careful. Make sure not to take out too much. This is what it sounds like with the EQ. Yeah, a lot more tame, a lot smoother. Uh, just fits in the mix a lot better so yeah um that's pretty much how to uh properly eq and take out harsh frequencies from sounds to make the sounds a lot cleaner and to make your mix smoother uh, hopefully you guys learned something like i said uh this sample is from a sample pack that i just dropped i'll leave a link down in the description for that 20 rmb samples plus 20 bonus midis and also don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you guys uh want me to cover 
in the next episode of this series. Uh, anything quick, anything uh, that I can put into like a five, six, seven minute video. Yeah, so don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.